This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you with another gun video. Appreciate you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Now, this video I'm going to be talking about North Carolina concealed carry permit. Now, there's been a lot of headlines here in the state. Um, they're talking about, you know, North Carolina concealed carry permits is at an all-time high. You know, a lot of people um, are, you know, trying to get their CCW. Now, that is a good thing that shows you that people want to protect themselves, especially in the environment that we're in. You know, everybody wants to um, protect themselves, they, they loved ones, their family and stuff. Nobody, nobody wants to be a victim. And, you know, they want to be on the right side of the law. Now, with that said, you know, if you're about to get your CCW, I'm about to give you some good information. I've been having my CCW for um, over 15 years. And first thing you can do right now is start looking at some of your state laws. Look at your state laws. If, even if you ain't in North Carolina, start looking at your state laws. Look at some of the gun laws. Look at all that stuff, you know, because when you're carrying a farm, it's a whole nother ball game. You know, there's um, other gun owners that you've seen who don't know their state laws, who are going um, above and beyond what their um, role is as a concealed carrier and find themselves on the other side of the law. And, you know, and, and it's costing them um, their Second Amendment rights and they're going to jail. And, you know, that's what you don't want to do. You know, you work too hard to get your CCW. You work too hard for your, you know, to keep your Second Amendment rights. We don't want to just throw them away. And I, I see too many people crossing the line. You know, getting your CCW doesn't give you uh, this extra uh, duty that you must be like a police officer. That, that's not what it's for. You know, your CCW is for you to protect yourself, carry your farm legally. And, you know, that's pretty much what it is. But also you need to know the um, the 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 aspect of self-defense, you know, and, you know, things you shouldn't do and don't do. You know, that's why you need to read up on that stuff, you know, because you see a lot of people, you know, it's easy to get up here and say, hey, you know, if somebody try to attack me, I'm going to just shoot them. And it's easy to say all that stuff. A lot of people talk to talk. But the problem is. What you have to deal with is the law. Now, um, the law can be very tricky. depends on your situation. Now, if you're in a situation where you fear for your life, about to be bodily harm and stuff like that, you have to do what you got to do. You deal with the law later. That's what a lot of people say, and that's what a lot of people do. But I think some things that you know people with they concealed carry permit and who's carrying on a daily day basis, I don't think a lot of them people think things through. You know, especially when you get in the heat in the moment. So you need to know your laws. Now, with concealed carry, especially here in North Carolina, there are some places and that don't that that don't allow you to open carry. Now, the reason why I bring that up because concealed carry is a good benefit to that solution. Some some places in North Carolina downtown and in some of these little cities by shops and business, they don't allow open carry. So concealed carry, you'll be fine because nobody knows you got it and is and is hidden. Um, that's the whole point of the concealed carry. Now, open carry is fine if you like to open carry, but it's just certain places you need to know where you go at. Um, there where you won't have a run in with the law, especially with some of these businesses here in North Carolina that don't you know, want to have somebody carrying a firearm openly around their business and stuff like that. Especially little areas that I have seen that, you know, got signs that, you know, no open carry and stuff like that. So concealed carry is another benefit. Now, some more benefits to concealed carry. Is that, you know, you get to go in the gun shop. You don't have to do the background check. Um, you already been, you know, background check at the um, sheriff's department, fingerprinted. So you're good to go. It makes your transaction at the gun shop a whole lot smoother. You know, um, pretty much as far as the paperwork and just picking out what gun you want and buying it. It's very smooth. I can probably do that within 15, 20 minutes. Um, so that helps me out a lot. Um, it also allows you to buy as many farms that you want to you know there's no limit how many farms that you can buy with your permit um because you know like i said when you go to the sheriff's department get the pistol permit you know it's i think it's have a five-year limit and that permit is only good for one one gun so you have to have several permits to buy multiple purchase with that concealed carry you don't have to do that you know and it's valid for five years and like I said, and I'm going to leave this link below called to go to carry for North Carolina resident. It's going to tell you everything about North Carolina. You know, all the gun laws, what you can do, can't do, 
you know, some of the qualifications that you need to take a CCW class and stuff like that. So it's going to have all that. Just read that. It'll get you up to par real quick. You don't have to know too much about guns and stuff like that, to, you know, to, to get on par on this website. It's very plain and simple. Um, it's for North Carolina residents only. Now, if you're out of state, there's other information you can look up. Um, I think you can go to US Carry, um, dot, um, org or something like that, dot com, some, and you can find information about your state. And also this website here, it also tell you states that um, honor your CCW permit. So that's another thing that, you know, I think that the benefit of the CCW, it allows you to go to other states and carry states that honor your state. And then, you know, most most of how that work is in most states honor states that honor them. That's pretty much how so many concealed carry um, states, you know, work pretty much, you know. And here in North Carolina, we was shooting for the uh, reciprocity and, you know, it didn't it didn't pass. It didn't it didn't go far. But, you know, hopefully uh, we could come around to that. But I don't think no time soon because we have a Democratic governor and, you know, he's already talking about um, red flag laws and stuff like that. So we're going to see how that works. Hopefully here in North Carolina we can keep uh, the Republican majority that we have and keep that, that stronghold. We don't need to let, you know, we don't need to cave in no more than what we already have. Um, hopefully. Um, North Carolina, we can get us another Republican governor and get our Democratic governor that we got out, Roy Cooper. Um, you know, so uh, I think he's holding up a whole lot of process when it comes to this state for his gun laws and everything. Now, um, getting back to the concealed carry um, situation, you know, like I said, you know, when you're concealed carrying, you must know the law. You must know um, your self-defense range and stuff. You must know your limits. You know, as we've seen in, you know, recent news, you have other concealed carriers who have made fatal mistakes where they went above and beyond their role of a concealed carrier. When you get your CCW permit, you're not out here to find issues and get yourself in issues and problems where you must defend yourself. That's that's not what your concealed carry permit is for. It don't give you a license to be a policeman and start, you know, policing people and stuff. And, 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 and just jump in a situation that you shouldn't be worrying about. You know, your concealed carry permit allows you to do a few things. Defend yourself and carry your farm legally. That's that's pretty much what it does. Uh, to my, it don't give you no license to do all this extra stuff that, you know, you see other concealed carriers making a mistake and do. So I don't want people doing that. You know, I want people to read up on their law, you know, even with me, I read up my laws all the time because laws change. You know, what you read maybe six months ago can change just like that. You know, uh, the ramifications for self-defense in certain places and states can change real quick because you have lawmakers already, already, uh, well, always creating laws. And so that's why you have to stay up on them, just like your taxes. You know, taxes change every year. So, you, you know, you file taxes one way one year, you might have to do them another way the next year. So you just have to stay up on the law. All gun owners should be reading up on their state laws. That should that should be the number one priority is consistently reading up on your state laws. Now, I know majority of people don't do that, probably a small percentage, because most people, once they hear certain things about guns and certain laws, they think they know it all that, you know, that can get you in huge trouble. You know, as um, one thing that we have found out, you know, when you make them, when you when you use your farm for some for self-defense, then guess what? It's a whole nother ball game because now you're dealing with the courts. You're dealing with lawyers. You're dealing with a whole lot of extra stuff that, you know, if you is not within the law, it can be turned against you and you can find yourself behind bars. Now we find the case where, you know, you saw a Florida, a Florida concealed carrier who put himself in that situation and now finding himself um, probably about to spend 30 years in prison. All because he was doing way too much um, as a concealed carrier. You know, he put himself in that position, in that situation. And so now he has to, you know, deal with what he did. And so we don't want to be in that situation. And another thing, um, when it comes to uh, as a concealed carrier, first of all, you want to preserve and keep your Second Amendment rights, not lose them and stuff like that. And so when anti-gunners see situations like in Florida and stuff, they're going to jump on it. They're going to find the laws uh, pertaining to all these situations that concealed carriers are making out here. A lot of people probably don't look at that, but the anti-gunner is 
full steam ahead. You got every candidate. You got all these people just running off gun laws. That's all they're running off of. I guarantee you find any president, well, anybody on the Democratic side running for president, and I guarantee they're running for some type of gun law. I'm, I guarantee you that fully. Pretty much every last one of them. So just want to bring you some of the information. Click on the link below if you're a North Carolina resident and want to get your CCW. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.